Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Now today I'm going to be building a double bow. I really like the way the other double bow came out, but there were some things I kind of wanted to change. So the first thing is this bow is going to be a little bigger than the other one. We're going to be using three quarter inch pipe instead of half an inch pipe. It's also going to be a little bit longer, but not as wide. So where the other bow was about eight inches wide at the crossbars, our crossbars are only going to be five inches long. You're going to need two three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipes cut to 54 inches long each. And you're going to want to mark the center of both. And for the handle, we're going to need two of these crossbars they're going to be five inches long each and you want to mark make four marks so one mark an inch from each side and then the center should be marked an inch the way this is going to work is that this is going to be the space where our arrow is going to go and these two marks are where the bow is going to attach to the crossbar and then you're going to need a seven inch long handle section here. So this is, all these pieces are three quarter inch schedule 40 pipe. And for the handle piece you're going to want to mark in half an inch from both ends and then an inch from your half an inch marks. So now that we've got these, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just flatten these pipes out. I'm going to be using a one inch spacer starting the flattening right here in the handle and then going to the ends. I'm going to do that on both sides for both bows and then I'll show you what that looks like. Here's the two bows flattened out. So you can see I've got a nice taper on both of them. They go from pretty much completely round in the center a nice taper on both ends. So now what we're going to be working on is the handle. Now unlike the other one where we were really cutting them, the handle sections deeply so that it would really sit really well, what we're going to be doing is just putting a little bit of a groove into each one. We're actually not going to cut into the pipe. The reason being is that we need a certain amount of distance between the handle and the bow. Because the bow pieces are so much closer now, there's not that kind of space and room that your hand had before. And so the bow is going to be right the bows are going to be right there sitting right in front of your hand and you need a good clearance. If you needed more clearance, like if your hands are bigger than mine, then you're going to want to actually use one inch pipes instead of three quarter inch pipes. So basically all I'm doing is locating the space I've marked between... So I've got my two markings here at the end, and right in the middle, right in the middle of the markings, I want to start with, I'm using a uh, half round file. So we don't want it to be too deep. So you can see what I've got here so far. It's really shallow. All I'm looking for is something that will help hold this in place so it won't slide from side to side. The lashing we put on here will be enough to hold it in place. So I'm just going to do that for all of my pieces and then we'll kind of mock fit everything together and then I'm going to paint all my pieces before continuing. You can see that this is how it's going to fit together. So right now, I don't know if you can really see, but when I'm holding this, my hand actually clears the pipes. So this will work nicely. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just paint all of this. I'm just going to spray paint it. And then I'm going to let this dry overnight. So tomorrow we'll actually do the wraps. And then we'll put this together. Finish up the ends. Tie the ends together. And then we'll probably be able to shoot it. So here we go.